Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make is a sheet cake. Now, if you are looking for a chocolate uh, sheet cake, I have uh, two uh, recipe videos on that. I have a chocolate Texas sheet cake and a regular chocolate uh, batter one. I also have a, a yellow or golden batter uh, sheet cake, also a video too. Uh, it has, uh, it, well, you need six eggs to make it. So it's a very, very rich, uh, yet very light and moist uh, sheet cake. But this particular sheet cake is uh, going to be, uh, again, a yellow or golden batter. The only difference is it, with this one is that it's made with cake flour and, and uh, less amount of eggs. Uh, it comes out just beautifully. Uh, it, it has a uh, really nice um, top to it when it bakes up. Well, I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, but I am using a 12 by 18 pan and it is two inches. A lot of people always write to me and ask me how, you know, how tall the pan is. It is two inches, 12 by 18, okay? So it's a half a sheet, and let's get started. First, what we're going to do is we're going to start with butter. So you're going to need one and one-third cups of butter. And I've cut that off, so I'm just going to put that in my mixing bowl here and start to cream it, break it up. Okay. Now, on uh, making this, you, you really will need a stand-up, I would say, a stand-up mixer uh, because of the volume. Uh, it's going to make it uh, a lot easier for you than if you try it with a hand mixer and a couple bowls, that type of thing. So, um, the volume alone, really, is why I'm, of course, using the stand-up. Okay, I'm going to just break that up and cream it. The next thing that you're going to be needing is um, granulated sugar, and you're going to be using three and a half cups of granulated sugar. So I'm just going to start slowly putting this in with the butter and beating it in. You want it to come out to a nice, uh, creamy, smooth texture um, and it, to look very light and fluffy and yellow in color. Um, I'm going to raise my speed a little bit, and then I'm going to continually to add the granulated sugar in, and this shouldn't take you, uh, you know, too long to do. I want to move it along uh, for the video, so I'm going to raise my speed a little bit. Wait until again it all comes together and it's very smooth and light. Okay, the next thing we're going to be putting in is eggs. This particular recipe calls for only four eggs and I've had them again at room temperature and I'm just going to beat one in at a time. That was the first, the second just went in. I'm going to raise my speed. Third and the fourth egg. And now the batter really starts to come together. We're also going to be putting in three teaspoons of vanilla. And beat that in until it's nicely mixed and blended. Once around the mixing bowl here, my spatula. And again, to stay with this, you'll really want it to be very silky and very smooth. All right. Now let's get to our dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to need six cups of cake, uh, cake flour. And um, I have that already in my bowl. Uh, some people still go ahead and sift the cake flour. I tend to, uh, but there are six cups. Now, we're also going to be adding a baking powder, and you're going to need five teaspoons of baking powder. 
and then we're also going to be putting in a teaspoon of salt and then I'm just going to stir this very lightly with my spoon there we go and then we're going to start adding this dry to the wet batter now also on hand you're going to need milk and you're going to need two and a half cups of milk that you're gonna alternate between the dry and now the milk, okay? So we're gonna start doing that. I'm just gonna start spooning in my um, flour. And I'm gonna do it at low speed because I don't want flour, of course, all over the kitchen. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of milk in and then just keep alternating it. When you see that it's blended and it's ready, just add some more of the flour. And when needed, add your milk. You'll be able to judge that and see that. I'm going to raise my speed a little bit and continue with my dry. And then add your milk when you need it, when you're alternating it. There we go. Whoops. And so on and so forth as you see what I'm doing. Whoa. I had to speed up a little too high on that one. Alright, we'll put some more dry on. Beat that in. And some milk. And you're probably going to be doing this anywhere from three to five minutes or something like that. It depends on the speed uh, that you're using on your mixer. Okay, that was the rest of the dry. And there's the rest of the milk that went in. And now I'm just going to clean up those sides with my spatula. I get to the bottom a little bit, move things around where it tends to stick underneath that paddle and on the paddle, on top of the paddle. And now we're just going to stay with it and we're going to blend it till it comes out very smooth and very uh, silky. So I've got my pan already heavily greased. And I also, um, you know, dusted it with, uh, with flour. Um, I did use a salad uh, shortening to grease my pan. I'm going to raise my speed just to get this really where I need it to be. So if the sound uh, is going to get a little loud. move this along for the video but it looks really good and let me I'm gonna take the paddle out take my excess a couple little taps and we'll set that aside okay. and now I'm just going to bring everything together and then I want to show you show you the batter and it is just a beautiful silky batter I hope that you can you can see that it really is quite nice the batter okay and then of course what we got to do is just pour this all into our pan our baking pan our 12 by 18 I want to get this all out of there Okay. All right, looks like that's it. And then just spread it out as evenly as possible. Get those edges filled in nicely. Smooth out that top. Like that. Take my excess off here. 
go. Okay, and then lightly tamp your pan so that you can get the air bubbles out of it before you put it in. Now you're going to bake it at 325 degrees and it's going to take you anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes. So start watching it early uh, because as we do realize, all ovens set up so differently. Now I'm going to rinse my hands quickly. Because I'd like to show you what this looks like once it's baked up. And here it is. Of course, there's no frosting on it or anything like that. But you'll get a nice golden top to it. Um, it has a beautiful light golden brown on the bottom. Because um, I've made several of these. Uh, and there you have it. You've got it great for bringing it to whether it's for your uh, the holidays, uh, to uh, a party, um, or something at your church. Uh, that's basically where these cakes are going to, are, are being donated to my church once they've been uh, frosted and uh, decorated. So I hope you give this one a try, especially if you're needing a large cake. Uh, I think it's a beautiful recipe, and as I mentioned, I do have three other sheet cake recipes, so if you need one or looking for one, please check out my channel for those. Uh, and that'll be it for me today. I want to thank you uh, for watching Diane Love to Bake, and please subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.